There comes a time when shaitan makes you doubt the mercy of Allah in totality. Hey, listen, Allah will never forgive you, not you. Everybody else in this hall, but not you. Allah says, oh, my slaves who have transgressed against themselves, never, ever, ever lose hope in my mercy. Allah will forgive all your sins. That's Allah talking. And what does shaitan say? Shaitan says, ah, Allah's not going to have mercy on you. Not you, not you. You went a little bit too far. You actually did something way beyond everybody else. It's not you. This verse doesn't even apply to you. What is shaitan doing? The problem is believers are starting to listen to what the devil is saying and saying to themselves. I don't think Allah has forgiven me. How dare you think so low of Allah? How can you think so low of Allah? When he tells you, don't lose hope in my mercy, don't ever lose hope. But you will do it not to impress anyone other than Allah. Not looking for any praise other than his praise. Not wanting anything of this dunya other than the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do not let your past bog you down. No matter what you've done in the past, the past is the past. Look at where you are today. You cannot keep on talking about the past suffering that you had and making yourself depressed here. Leave it. The sins you've committed in the past, they're gone. You asked Allah's forgiveness once it was wiped out. You are encouraged to repeat repentance so that your status can be elevated not because you are doubting Allah's forgiveness remember this every dua is heard by Allah every single dua is heard by Allah it's a matter of time for that dua to come and plug in some people it's a few days some people it's months some people it's years don't ever think that Allah did not accept you ever. all of us if you sit and think about some duas you've made in your life that happened five years later it happened ten years later you don't realize it came. It definitely came when the time was right. That's Allah's plan. Trust Allah. Things didn't go your way. You're sad. Well, I'm going to tell you something shortly. When Allah Almighty is worshipped alone and you understand he is in charge, your sadness goes away because you know Allah did it. There must be some khair in this. There must be some goodness in this. If you're jealous. It's impossible for you to be grateful. Impossible. Because when you're jealous, you're only thinking about what you don't have. And your deeds, your, your relationship with Allah is based on one thing, constantly acknowledging what you do have. That's how you become grateful to Allah. If you're only thinking about what you don't have, it's impossible for you to be grateful. There's no way you can be abdan shakuran, a grateful slave to Allah, if jealousy lies inside of your heart. That's, that becomes impossible. We're, therefore, may Allah Azza wa make us people that can remove jealousy from our hearts and truly make us people of gratitude. And may Allah make us of those who, who genuinely ask Allah for His preference and make our lives and our situations better by His grace. Good and bad fate is from Allah. When good things happen, I must not become arrogant. When bad things happen, I must not become depressed. I must relate it to Allah. And when something bad happens, you thank Allah. Because sabr is an act of worship that Allah gives you an opportunity to engage in. You have to engage in it. At some point, you will suffer a loss. Some point, something wrong will happen in your life. Thank Allah. When something happens to you in your life. Trust Allah. He knows. He knows why he did not give you what you wanted. And he knows if he did give it to you, how it would have ended up. That also is in the knowledge of Allah.